Hey guys, when you take a break while working, are you tired of always looking for the power button to turn off your screen? And for some of us who are looking for ways to save power while away from our desk, are you really going to turn everything off? Stop. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to click a single shortcut to turn off the display instantly. And you can simply just move your mouse or press a key to turn it back on. So using the link in the video description, just point your browser to my PowerShell script in GitHub. You can simply download the file to your computer. And then after that, make sure you have permissions to run PowerShell scripts. So we'll do this by opening the Windows Start menu and then typing in PowerShell. And we'll want to right click Windows PowerShell and then run as administrator. So this means PowerShell will start with elevated privileges. And the command we're running is set dash execution policy space remote signed. And then once it prompts you to change the policy, just type in Y and then hit enter to continue. Just note that this enables this policy at the computer level. So for those of you wanting to do this for just their user, you can run the same command with the scope specified for current user. Okay, so now that we've taken care of permissions, let's navigate to where you just downloaded that PowerShell script. Right click the file and then click properties. We need to make sure that the script is allowed to run. So if security is blocking it, just check unblock and then apply the settings. Now let's see if running this script can actually turn off your display. Click the location in File Explorer and then run PowerShell. Once PowerShell is open, we'll type in dot backslash followed by the full name of the script. And if you run this, boom, your display should turn off right away. And to turn it back on, just move your mouse or press any key on your keyboard. Perfect. So let's work on adding this as a shortcut on our Windows taskbar. Right click anywhere inside this folder and we'll hover over new and then click shortcut. First, we need to specify the location of our script. So let's click the browse button and then locate the folder that has our script. Once you select the file, click next to continue. And now it's going to ask you to add a name for the shortcut. You can call this whatever you want, but to be clear, I decided to go with power off screen. Now click finish and you'll see that the shortcut has been added here. However, there's one more thing that we still need to do to make this work the way we want. First, let's click on the address bar and then copy the entire folder path. After that, right click on the shortcut that we created and go to properties. Notice that the target has been set to the absolute path of our PowerShell script. But what we need to do instead is change this to PowerShell space file space and then inside double quotes paste the full path of our folder slash the name of the script. And as soon as you hit OK, notice how the icon changes immediately. And that's because Windows now recognizes this as a runnable PowerShell script with one click. Next, if you don't like the icon that you see on the shortcut, you can easily change it by right clicking, going to properties, and then clicking change icon. And don't worry if you're just seeing a few icons here initially. You can get a lot more options by clicking browse, changing the path to C drive, windows, system 32, and finally look for shell 32.dll. And if you select that, boom, you'll have plenty of examples to choose from for your icon. But as for me, I'll be going with the default PowerShell icon. And now for the moment that you've been waiting for, Let's drag the shortcut to anywhere on your taskbar. And then once you do that, if you click on it, you can now instantly turn off your display from the taskbar with one click. And then of course you can turn it back on with any mouse or keyboard activity. 
And the reason why I love using this trick is because pretty much all the other default options that we're given to do this are very limited. So for example, screen savers are nice for saving power, but this only happens after your computer waits for a timeout. And you can definitely tweak your power plan in system power settings. But again, why have it happen on its own when you can control this yourself? And by the way, for those of you that are interested in learning how this PowerShell script works, here's a very quick tutorial on how this PowerShell script was written. So most of the functionality behind this script is actually a snippet of code. And that's written using .NET assemblies. So as you can see here, I'm using the C Sharp programming language in Visual Studio Code to show that. And we start off with lines one through two, which import libraries that we need to get the job done. After that, we're creating a static class called display under the utilities namespace, which is how we typically identify the entry path of the code that we're trying to run. And within our class, we're bringing in a function called send message from the user 32 library. And when we use extern, it means that this is a method that's implemented externally. So if you wanna know more, just look at Microsoft Docs for the send message function. Next, we just need to make sure that our method signature matches exactly what's written here. But even though we imported the send message function, we still need to write our implementation. So we do that by creating a function called power off. Note that this function has four parameters. The first parameter specifies that this message will be sent to all visible windows. The second parameter tells windows that this is a system command. The third parameter is saying that this is a monitor power action. And finally, the fourth parameter is the actual instruction that's sent to turn off the screen. But keep in mind that this code by itself isn't going to do anything until we use it in our PowerShell script. So let's go ahead and get all of this code copied. And then let's open up our favorite text editor. I prefer using Notepad++, but you can use pretty much anything that you want. So I usually start writing a script by adding a comment that's describing what we're actually trying to do. And beneath that, we're calling a type definition and pasting our code from before inside the quotes. And what this does is it loads the code that we just wrote a minute ago using the .NET assembly that can actually be used for this script, which brings us to our final step, making a call to our power off function. And you can see how the namespace utilities and our static class from before called display are being referenced here. So that's pretty much it. You now have the power to turn off your monitor or display with one click. Thanks for watching. And for more ways to automate tasks or just computer tricks in general, please consider subscribing to this channel.